Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you this beautiful Ionium that I bought at Lowe's. I can't believe I found this. It was like all the way in the bottom, it was hiding, and it wasn't in the best condition. As you can see, it's all like, it's either burned or somebody messed with it. It got mistreated. It's, it's um, looking a lot better since I bought it. I bought it like a week ago maybe, and I wanted to see if it was a fungi or what is going on it wasn't a fun guy but um it, it's looking better it's growing for sure and look at these beautiful colors it's green yellow red or pinkish on the edges look at that oh it's beautiful and um it was twenty dollars i've been looking online to buy these guys and almost nobody has them as a bush and they're so expensive if you get them and if they ship them to you they die on the process i have i'm on the process of saving another ionium that i bought and it's doing okay but um there's nothing like buying established plant on its pot so i got this one for 1989 and it's marked ionium sunburst crest ionium look at that so you don't think that i'm lying right there uh-huh and uh, since it's crested, I have these beautiful formations over here of the rose all distorted. And then I have these little ones over here that are going on. They're like, I don't know what's going on there. And the crested just means there is an abnormality growing in there. And it's not growing like it's supposed to, but it's still so beautiful. And also some of it has just the regular rosettes. Look at this one, huge. Ooh, <laughs> I almost dropped it there. And then there's another one right there look at that oh, it's just adorable i can't believe i found this really and um i haven't done a lot to it since i got it because i wanted to see if it got better if it was something that i could do so i just been watching it i haven't i think i water it a few days after i got it because it was so dry but i didn't want to water it i didn't know the condition but since i put it in the sun right away because it was in the sun at the store I uh, put it in the sun and nothing happened to it and you know it got the beautiful red ends here so I had to water it because I don't want it to suffer uh, so now I want to see what's going on uh, excuse me <laughs> now I want to see what's going on underneath uh, you know in the roots and check it out and I was gonna record this video with more light I'm sorry I think you can see it pretty well but I had to take a nap and while I took a nap it rained and <laughs> that's why everything is wet even the plant i left it here and it got a little bit of rain but i think the rain was only on top because it's so full it doesn't let the water go into the pot we're gonna see what we can do if we can move it into this pot which is just a little bit bigger not too much um it's a little bit deeper in case it has um bigger roots and maybe i can split it i don't know what the situation is we are gonna try to see because i really would like to see this rosettes shine a little bit more uh, rather than being all cramped in there look at that and some of them just need i need to pluck those leaves but i don't want yet until the plant it's okay i don't want to leave empty spaces because that attracts um you know some plagues but i also want it to have room to grow new leaves that are healthy all right here we go i don't know what to do <laughs> Okay, we're gonna lose the plant around. I've already put some dirt in here. I have the regular dirt for um, cacti and succulents, which is, you know, vermiculite, perlite, and um, dry soil that dries fast. It's fast draining soil. And I don't know what to do. Every time I take a plant out of a pot, I drop it and I end up losing a bunch of leaves. So, we're gonna try to do this the best way. Okay, Bridget, come over here. Okay, we're gonna try to pull it out by the this this part, los tallos. Okay, so grab it in there, like I have put your finger in there. Can you lift it up? Very carefully, don't just pull. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I pulled something. Oh my goodness, I don't know. How about you pull it? I can't. <laughs> okay, let's just flip it a little bit to the side, okay. Is 
Este, aquí tiene dos. Ahí está, ok. Aquí. Más fuerte, eso, eso. Ok. Perfect. Stand it up. Uh. Nice, save those. Put them with you over there. Yeah. Okay. So we did that. <laughs> uh, let's lose the soil that we can. This soil is not so bad, you know. It's it's looking good. I don't want to mess too much with the roots. Sometimes keeping it stable is better than change all the soil. So we're gonna change whatever we can. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> She's beautiful. I mean, those colors, truly a sunburst color. <laughs> and to get the crested version on top of that and the normal version on top of that, I mean, it's a true blessing. Okay. It's a big giant root, I don't know. <laughs> what is connecting to? Okay. There we go. No damage. Too many roots. Wow. All right, it's looking good. So I'm just gonna put this on the pot. Like I said, I already put a little bit of soil in it. I'm not gonna split it because it's not happening naturally. I wish I could. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I can just give it a little pull. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that, look at this guys. Booyah, I didn't even break it. It was just growing together, look at that. That's, that's the big rosettes. And um, <laughs> this one is also growing by itself. I'm gonna be able to give it some room. <laughs> this one seems to be together, let me see. Yeah. Oh, just by the roots, not really. Okay, this is awesome. We're gonna be able to give it some room. I can't plant it in this big pot because this big pot is too big for them. So maybe I can plant just like this one, the main main mama plant. Is it raining again? Maybe I can plant it right there. Okay, I think this pot is a little too big for these two rosettes. So I'm gonna try to plant them back in the same pot that they came. And just change the soil because why not I don't want to waste my soil and use too much and also these plants grow better when they feel like their roots are confined too much too far and I always do this okay just normal stuff okay here we go I hope I still have light do I still have light? I don't have much light. It's getting really dark, really quick. Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty good, Brie, thank you. I have uh, my, my team <laughs> behind camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, this is looking really good, actually. I think it's better to put it in a smaller pot. Of, although this is not really small, this is a pretty big pot. Well, I gotta hurry because not only the night is coming in, but also the mosquitoes. So keep losing these old petals, which is okay because we're gonna get very nice new ones right there. They're coming in. I should cut this one down because it's bothering me. And. That's it for this one, I think. I'm gonna add a little bit more soil. I don't wanna leave it loose. I want the plant to feel like it can hold on and relax. All right, so that's that one. And you can't even see it. All right. That's how I left it. Okay. And then we're gonna try to put the little ones into this one, maybe. This is the crested version, full of dirt. It's really cute, it's adorable. Hopefully it grows. It's 
full of dirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> there. Okay. And I'm gonna grab this one. And this one is a crested one. Which is weird because this one has a crested one right there. And it has a flower right there. A rose set. Regular rose set. Out of the same family, would say. This is like a big stem coming up. Okay. So we're gonna blend these two together in this spot. Here we go. I don't know what to do with all the dirt. There. No, you know what? I'm gonna have to take the dirt out and fill it. Back up. I'm gonna take the roots. They have a long root, so that's why I don't want to mess up with the with the roots. I want them to grow. Then we're gonna hang them on the side, and then we're gonna fill in with dirt. That's what you kind of have to do when you have plants that have long roots. Um, let the roots be, and fill in the pots. All right, this is looking really good. I'm really excited. I hope they don't getting too much of a shot from being replanted but um, with new dirt new vitamins I see new growth coming mm -hmm. and you want to get all the sides with new dirt. Right All right. I think this looks pretty good. That's the second one right there. Mm -hmm. And this one I'm gonna put it in its own part too. But I'll just show you guys that at the end of the video with a, probably an update of how they're doing a week from now. Alright guys, it's been about two weeks since I planted these guys and they're looking pretty good. Just I'm trying to figure out how much water to give them. The dirt is still very humid but they look a little dry. They're dropping all these um, leaves. Um, they were damaged, so maybe the plant is just throwing them out. I don't know. This is the one that seemed to have the most damage since when I bought it. New leaves are coming in nice and fine. I don't know if you can see that. This is the one that's crested. This is the ones that um, look pretty normal. And there's two of them of those right there. And this is the third one I got out. I love these little pink edges. It's beautiful. This one is almost completely green on the side. This crustacean goes like that. And like I said, it threw away a bunch of leaves that were... It seems like it needs water, but the soil is still a little wet. So. I'm just gonna keep checking on the leaves. All right, well, that's it for this video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want support and um, give it a comment, leave a like, do something, go drink some water. I don't know. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. I upload videos every week. Bye bye.